The successful counter-offensive of the Defense Forces of Ukraine on the territory of the Kursk region of the Russian Federation is gaining momentum. This pushed the President Vladimir Putin to a new unexpected decision. He ordered that the Russian fighters from the Bears private military company who are in Africa immediately arrive in Kursk, according to Le Monde media outlet. So, the Kremlin is moving its forces from Africa to the Kursk region to stop the offensive of the defense forces of Ukraine. According to the data of French journalists, militants of the Bear private military company who are linked to the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation arrived in the capital of Ouagadougou in Africa several months ago. We are talking about 100 Russian mercenaries. All this time, they were guarding a number of key figures, including the head of the junta, Captain Ibrahim Traore. However, the situation changed dramatically when Ukrainian forces broke into the Kursk region. The soldiers of the Russian Federation have not yet been able to stop and dislodge them. That is why the authorities of the Russian Federation decided to involve the fighters of the Bears, private military company in the defense of Ukraine. They are already packing their bags. The official reason for their departure, just three months after their arrival, is participation in Russian defense efforts against the offensive of the Ukrainian army, which began on August the 6th in the Kursk region, writes Le Monde. According to the French journalists, they have already received official confirmation from the commander of the Bear Brigade, Viktor Yemoleev, that he is withdrawing his fighters from Africa. He also added that all Russian soldiers forget their problems and unite to fight the enemy. On August the 27th, a statement was published in the Telegram channel of Russian mercenaries in which it is said that in connection with recent events, the brigade is returning to Crimea where the private military company is based. It is also worth noting that the management of Vedmedi PCM denies any connection with the Russian Defense Ministry. However, there is evidence of contacts with some of its leaders. In particular, on April the 5th, 2023, Yunus Bek Yevrukov, the Deputy Minister of Defense of Russia, who currently oversees the Kremlin's entire military presence on the African continent, personally visited the Perevalny camp in occupied Crimea to offer his support. Putin's regime and its leader are causing increasing discontent among Russians who are beginning to actively and even publicly ask uncomfortable questions of the head of the Kremlin and demand his resignation. A video has appeared on social networks in which a man is outraged by the results of the so-called special operation, which instead of a few days stretched out into two and a half years of fierce fighting. Moreover, the goals declared by Moscow have not only not been achieved, but are also unlikely to be achieved at all. Vladimir Vladimirovich, in February 2022, your controlled media said that this operation would be over in three days. Excuse me, but it has been going on for three years already, the Russian says in the video. In addition, he accused Putin of treason and demanded his resignation since dozens and hundreds of factories in Russia have gone bankrupt and Russians are living worse and worse. The truth is obvious to everyone, which every Russian sees and understands, but speaking it out loud in Russia is literally life-threatening. People comment on the video on social networks. Putin likes to project himself as a strongman, but his track record of handling recent crises in Russia reveals a different side of his presidential persona, one of paralysis and indecision. A day and a half after Ukrainian troops stormed a Russian border crossing and continued almost unimpeded across the wide green fields of the southern Kursk region, Putin finally made his first public remarks on the matter. He called the incursion a massive provocation, accused Ukraine of indiscriminately firing on civilians, and then moved on quickly to other government business, including how to mark Russia's construction Workers' Day. It would take another five days and the loss of nearly 30 settlements before he promised a military response. There was no visit to the region to meet the tens of thousands of evacuees, no declaration of martial law. Battlefield accounts have backed up the sense that a motley selection of Russian troops were rushed in as Moscow grappled with the dilemma of how to balance defending its own soil with keeping up the slow momentum on the Eastern Front. Ukrainian officials said some troops were redeployed from the Kharkiv region and the Southern Front. Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov claimed early on that his special forces unit, the Akhmat Brigade, had been deployed. Naval infantry officers from the Black Sea Fleet in Crimea are also involved. 
Experts agree the Kursk incursion has not fundamentally changed Putin's overarching strategy of attrition to exhaust Ukraine and try to outlast its allies. And yet, Ukraine's surprise move has emboldened those who had previously questioned the West's policy of limiting certain types of military aid and their use inside Russia.